Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this series of videos, we are going to utilize AI, artificial intelligence to make and analyze our existing videos. For every session of CSI and Life Science, I already make videos on the most important topics for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination. And if you are wondering what are the most important topic from individual units for the upcoming CSI and Life Science examination, then this video is going to help you. But this is a disclaimer that this video is made with AI because it I already made four or five different videos on individual units. From all the other units, I compiled them with the help of the AI and AI analyzed all of my videos and my strategies and it put together as a summary for all of you. Under seven, eight minutes, you're going to get a crisp and to the point summary of the preparation of any individual topics of CS and Net Life Science Unit, be it Unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. For all the 13 units, you will get this video series both in English as well as in Hindi. So just don't leave the video because it's made with AI. AI can do wonders. Don't think that a teacher, if he's using AI, that means a teacher is not doing its job. Teacher is obviously doing its job, but it's compiling them with the help of the AI to take it to the next level. And I bet that after going through this video, if you watch one of this video, you'll be hooked and you'll continue the series and that is out there. Now, why I'm making this with the AI? Because I've already made it multiple times manually and it does not make sense making the same video every single time. So I tried something new this time with the help of the AI watch i believe you are going to like it if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike mention why you dislike and if you like to get more content like this also mention that in the comment section all right if you're gearing up for the csir net exam you know unit 7 can feel like an absolute beast but what if the real secret to crushing it isn't just about studying harder but about studying way way smarter today we're going to break it all down with a strategy that's backed by some serious data Okay, right off the bat, let's clear up the single biggest point of confusion that trips people up with this unit. I mean, the name right on the syllabus. It might be sending you on a total wild goose chase. So what's really going on here? So let's dive in. When you actually analyze the last decade of CSIR net papers, a pattern emerges that is just crystal clear. The questions are not about the excretory system of a cockroach or a frog. Nope, they are overwhelmingly, almost exclusively focused on human physiology. So the first and most important thing you need to do is completely reframe this unit in your mind. Forget animal physiology. You are studying human physiology, period. Okay, so we know it's human physiology, but that syllabus is still, well, it's huge, right? To make this way more manageable, we've crunched the numbers from past papers and broken the whole thing down into a super simple priority system. Green means you absolutely have to master it. Yellow means it's moderately important. And red? Those are the topics you can pretty much skim. Now this is where it gets really interesting. These three systems are your absolute top priority. For the cardiovascular system, don't just think the heart, no. The examiners are obsessed with the electrical system, the ECG and conduction pathways. For the excretory system, it's all about the process. How is urine actually formed and how does that whole process regulate our blood pressure? And with endocrinology, they love, and I mean love, asking about specific hormones and the diseases they cause. So your job is to connect every single hormone to its function and a potential disorder. All right, moving on to our yellow list. These topics pop up often enough that you definitely need a solid grip on them, but they aren't quite the main event. For the respiratory system, you want to zero in on the exchange of gases. With the nervous system, don't just memorize the parts of a neuron. The questions are all about the dynamics, the action potential, and the resting membrane potential. And hey, a little insider tip on sense organs. Vision, especially rod and cone cells, used to be a huge topic, but we're seeing the number of questions on it gradually go down. And this slide. This is where you get to be strategic and save a ton of precious time. Questions from these topics have become incredibly rare in recent exams. You might see a one-off question about arteries and veins, but things like thermoregulation, stress, and the digestive system have barely shown up in the last three or four exams. That's not being lazy. That's being smart with your most valuable resource, your time. Okay, so we know what to study, but just as important is understanding how they ask the questions, because getting the style of Unit 7 gives you another massive advantage. So, 
Listen up, because this is a crucial point. Unit 7 is not like some of the other units that are heavy on deep, analytical, problem-solving questions. No, this unit leans heavily, and I mean heavily, on pure memorization. You can expect a ton of direct memory-based questions, and that has a huge implication for when you should be studying this stuff. This piece of advice is a direct result of the data we just saw. Think about it. Because human physiology is so vast and so memory-intensive, trying to study it at the beginning of a six-month or year-long prep cycle is just, well, it's not going to work. You'll forget most of it. So the smartest strategy is to save this unit for the final month, maybe month and a half, of your preparation. Tackle it when the information is going to be fresh in your mind for exam day. Okay, so we've analyzed the syllabus, we've prioritized all the topics, and we've decoded the question pattern. So now, let's put it all together. This is your final actionable game plan for absolutely mastering Unit 7. This right here, this is your must-master list. If you're short on time, this is where you focus all your energy. The endocrine, excretory, and cardiovascular systems are your absolute top priorities. And right after those, you hit the nervous and respiratory systems. Get these five down, and honestly, you are good to go. So the big takeaway here is to replace all that confusion and anxiety about Unit 7 with a clear, targeted strategy. Stop thinking about animal physiology. Focus on human physiology. Completely master those top five systems we talked about and time your deep dive memorization for the final weeks before your exam. Study smart, not just hard. And there you have it. That's your blueprint for cracking Unit 7. You can use this data-driven strategy to turn one of the most intimidating units into one of your biggest strengths. So now you know what to do. Go out there and absolutely ace it. So I believe you got an overall detailed idea about how do you prepare this particular unit for the CSI net, upcoming CSI net life science examination preparation. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, colleagues, and subscribe to this channel. And also mention what necessary adjustment that we need to do to make more of this kind of videos. Should you make them? Should you not make them? And also, uh, if you wish to join Shomu's biology, because this video is actually made from four of my YouTube videos. I feed four of my existing YouTube videos and AI gave this output. So it is basically my own content. It is churned content of mine. So if you wish to get this content, if you want to get trained by me, get coached by me for CSI Net Life Science Examination Preparation, then join our online coaching. The admission is going on. Contact the given number 9804654228. Visit our website www.shomusbiology.com or download our Shomus Biology application from Google Play Store. You'll find all the course details in there. You can also buy our study material package, 5 books, 3,900 rupees, 5 books plus 64 GB recorded lecture content, 8,900 rupees. Always from our website or directly from us by contacting 9804654228 number in WhatsApp. So mention your, uh, you know, say in the comment section so that I get to know whether you liked it or not. See you there in the next video. Thank you. Bye.